My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can convert a UK date to a US date. First, let's look at the date formats. So the UK format and other countries, they use a format where they put day before month and then year. But in US, they put month and then day and year. So that will give a problem if we want to compare them because we will compare two different things and we might get some errors. So we want to fix that and we'll do that by converting either of them to the other one. Now we will convert the UK to the US. So we'll go to Power Automate and then we'll click Create. We will choose an instant flow here, but you can choose whatever flow you, maybe you have an automated flow. So uh, this one will say Convert UK Date to US Date, like this. We will choose a manually triggered flow and then we'll click Create. First, I'll initialize our date variable, and you could get this date from your Excel sheet, your mail, your SharePoint list, or whatever. I'll just uh, initialize it manually for the example. So, initialize variable, and I'll call this date UK. This will be a string, and the date format that could be today, that is the 8th of April 2020. So, remember here, I put in the days, then the month and then their year. So uh, now we can convert it. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Microsoft Power Automate. So let's, let's put in the next step. That'll be Compose. Because first we will, we want let me put in the Compose first and then I'll tell you about my mission. So first I will split these three uh, things here, components. I'll split, I'll get the days out. I'll get the month out and then I'll get the year out. I'll do that in this compose and then I will add another compose where I reorder the things. So we'll get uh, this guy here first and then this guy second and then this guy third as well. So what I'll do here is that I'll go down here and then I'll go to the expression here and I'll just type in split because I want to split this variable by the forward slash. So split and then I'll say variables, and then I'll specify what variable I'll uh, use, and that is the date UK from up here. So single quotation, date UK, like this, and then comma, and then I'll just say, where do I want to split by in um, single quotations, and that is the forward slash. So this one should do, we'll click OK, it will say the expression is invalid, but if we click OK again, then it's valid. I'm not sure about this bug in Power Automate, but uh, yeah, just click OK twice. Then we will, uh, so now we split it, so we split it into three variables, 18th, the uh, 04 and the 2020. So now we get to compose them into uh, the U US format, so we'll choose a new step. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So we'll choose Compose. And now we will concate our, all these things up here. So uh, we'll again, we'll click here. And we can see now that we can actually use our output from this Compose, but we won't. And this actually consists of three outputs. It consists of the days, the month, and the year. And it is a, a list. And it's zero index, so our let me just uh, open this again. So this one is number zero, this is number one, and this is number two, if we want to refer to it. And we'll use that here. So go to expression, and then we'll say concat, because we want to concat it. And then we'll say, um, so we want to use the outputs from up here. So uh, we'll say outputs in parentheses, and then we'll refer to this outputs from up here, that's the compose, so put in compose, like this, and then outside the parentheses, then in square brackets, like these, we will say, what output do we want here? Well, we want the second output, that was the month, right? We want the months first now, but the, 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 second, out, the second thing here, that's this month here, that is number one, because again, it's zero index, remember that, so we'll just say one, that'll put i will get the 04 first, the April. Then we will say comma. And now we want the uh, forward slash again. So we'll say single quotation marks and then the forward slash. So now we have the first component, that's the month in the US format. Then we will say comma, like this. And we will have uh, the outputs again. 
so outputs like this and again compose and then we will have our square brackets here and now it's the first element so that's number zero again zero indexed so now we will have the days like this and comma and again we will have the uh, forward slash like this then we will say comma and now we'll just add our year so outputs you know the drill now compose like this and square brackets out here and that is number two again so that's it and we'll need to click ok twice like this so now we can run this flow we can save it and we can run it and we can verify that we indeed converted our uk date variable to a us date variable so let's try to run the flow we run it and we can go down here and compose two and we can see now that our output that is in a us format that's it that's how easy it is to convert dates in power automate have a good day bye bye